Hello, hello, and welcome back to another day at Stardew Valley. So last time we had the Egg Festival, where we lost out to Abigail, which was a bit disappointing. But we did pick up a load of strawberries, and we planted them all before going to bed. And it's apparently it's going to be a sunny day tomorrow. Uh, Fortune Teller says today is extra lucky. Nice, might have to do a bit of foraging. And we get a new recipe, which is coleslaw. Which will be fantastic when we get a kitchen. But let's go and um, water our ridiculous amount of crops. We've got ridiculous about now. Uh, I've got some new items in stock a deluxe fishing pole and some bait that you can attach to it. You can use bait to make fish bite faster. Hope to see you soon, Willie. So you can get a new fishing pole, which is a lot better than our normal one. Uh, dear Kado, how are you doing, sweetie? I've missed you so much since you left. I hope the farming life is everything you hope for. Love, Mum. P.S. I sent you your favourite cookies. Aww, isn't that nice? Some cookies. Nice bit of energy and health. Or we could give them away. Who knows? Right, so let's get our cauliflowers. And a potato. No, can't pick that one up. Or that one. Oh, beans. Beans. Fan blooming tastic. Beans at last. Right, which means I want to. Let's just put one bean in there. Let's leave a cauliflower in case anyone wants it. Um, potato, that can go in there. Bing. Right. So we can stop by the... We can give that... We can put three in there. We can stop by the green centre and put those two items in and get a new package of something. But first we've got to water everything. This is the bit that's going to take a lot of time. And we might need to eat mum's cookies. I'm, I'm doing it. Because it's going to take an age. A literal age. We still need to upgrade our watering can. If only we had five copper and a rainy day coming up. Because it takes. Um, you need a day between handing Clint your uh, tool to upgrade and collecting it. So, what you need to do is either on a day you know where the following day is going to be rainy. Um, or on the end of a season um, so you know there's a day coming up where you don't need to water plants like if it's raining or if it's the end of spring or something so you finish watering your cups the day before then go over to Clint drop off your watering can then pick it up in two days oh, pick something up, what can I pick up? oh, a scythe, oh that was our kale wasn't it? you know I completely forgot we planted kale but actually give us a bit extra coin as well, which is nice. Always happy to have some uh, coin, and it doesn't require us watering it, which is handy. Right, so a scythe to clear this, apparently. There you go, seven kale. It's not too shabby. Uh, water our beans that have finally started growing. Uh, this stuff is all of our forage our spring seeds which we got from doing one of the community bundles so, at least they won't get replanted once they've grown so looking forward to that I'll start doing this at what like half six in the morning and it's already half nine it's taken him three hours so far to do this watering and he's not even finished such is the life of a Stardew Valley farmer in spring. It does slowly get easier as you go on, because you upgrade your items so it's easier, faster to water, you'll go more diverse, you might start using animals. Um, right, so that's all that. Let's drop off the uh, siphon axe and let's take our fishing rod though. <coughs> right. Let's drop this in here. Oh, we had uh, it's Emily's birthday, isn't it? We were going to give her the daffodil or dandelion. I can't remember which one it was. Um, I'm going to go with dandelion. I think I could be wrong. But we probably should say hello to our dog as well. Hey, doggy. Also, when you get other animals, you should say hello to them because it increases their happiness. Um, let's go with the top way. Just in case, see if there's some forage around here. Yep, none there is. 
leak right there. You might need to eat that to... Ooh, and worms. Nope, just a book. Urgh. What I want is an artifact. Yeah, I found a lost book. Great. There's no artifact because that counts towards giving me extra rewar rewards. And so here, yeah, just check there's nothing growing this side. Oh, you can get some forage there occasionally, but nothing too much. Who have I not given presents to? Like almost everyone. This must be a new week then. Sunday's the new week. I haven't got ticks in any of the boxes. Yeah. Well, while we're here, we're gonna give one to Linus because we like Linus. It's a great gift. Thanks, Linus. And he did come and save us that one time when we died in the dungeon. Uh, right. Oh, not as much forage as I was hoping, but that's okay. We're going to the community centre, which should get a reward. And hopefully, we see Emily around here. She's normally hanging around the, the outside near the community centre. Pop along. Pop down the corridor. Um, is it in here? No, this is the foraging. Wrong one. It's this one up here. Which is the exciting one, because this one gives you the greenhouse. Uh, spring crops, right. So, cauliflower, bean. Boom. Boom. What do we get? Something fun, something fun. Uh, speed grow. Not quite as fun as I was hoping for. Um, quality crops, that's what I'm working on at the moment. Um, that's going to take an age. So that's also that's the animals, and then there's the other foraging. So the next one to really look out for will be summer foraging, um, and maybe the artisan stuff in case that person's selling them. We can't get honey until we get beehive. Can't get jelly till we get preserved jar cheese. We need a cheese press, uh, stuff like that. So that's going to have to wait until we get a bit further along. But because we completed another thing, we have just now opened up the boiler room. In case you're wondering how many there are, there's one for each star. So six in total. There should be another one on the bulletin board and another one in here by the safe. So let's just check this one out while we're here. Um, so we got Blacksmith wants a copper bar, iron bar and a gold bar. That's not too hard to do. Uh, quartz, earth crystal, frozen tier, fire quartz. Um, the first three are quite easy to get, and the fire quartz isn't too hard. You just need to get far, far, far enough down the mines. Nice line slime, 10 bat wings, solar essence, void essence. That's not too hard. Actually, you only need two of those. Probably the easier thing to do is slimes and bat wings. Maybe a solar essence, actually. Um, so you just need to go mining for those down in the mine, which would be easy enough. Probably should head back out there the next time it's a rainy day. Although we do have a couple of fish to catch, I think. But we'll check that out at a different time, or maybe today. We do have a fishing rubber with one. There's Haley. So, happy birthday, Haley. Oh, this is my birthday today. I guess it is. Thanks. Like you wouldn't remember it's your birthday. Come on. I can see her loving all the presents. Oh. Sunday, that shop person actually, and the caravan's probably here. Uh, Mayor of Pelican Town for 20 years. That's great, Pierre. Um, sorry, Pierre. Lewis. I need an iron bar. You don't have any iron, so I'm not going to accept that. Uh, oh, Pam's birthday next Thursday. Shane's on Saturday. Uh, right, yeah. Let's got rid of that quest I had for. Um, I'll buy some more cauliflower. I need to buy some more parsnips. Yeah, let's buy some cauliflower. Ten cauliflower for now. We have got space from where we had or where we took out those other stuff. I might use the speed grow on them. Actually, yeah, probably should use the speed grow on the strawberries, but eh, we've got the quality stuff. Um, where am I going now? Right. Questions. Go comb the beach and then let's head over to the person in the ca in the caravan. Could have just given some more people some gifts, but ooh, worms. 
Welcome to those worms. Ooh, dried starfish. We can give that to Gumpher. Anything else around here? Yes, there's a shell. Oyster. And a clam. And anything else? Mm, ooh, worms, 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 worms. Nope, clay. I mean, it's useful. For, ooh, yes, one of those sea urchins. Nice. And you do need one of those for a community bundle, I believe. But we haven't got it open yet, so there's not much point getting rid of it. Oh, not much point keeping it because it's so easy to get another one. So we're going to sell those. Yeah, but let's go pop over to Gumpher. Ooh, there's. Sorry, I forgot what your name is. Alex? Is that Alex? No, Sam. That's Sam, isn't it? Right. Gone for a me old matey. Here is a dried starfish. It's kind of obvious what it is, but, you know, apparently I don't know. We can have a go, go have a quick look at them. Why not? So we've got... Dwarf Scroll 1. You know, scroll of paper for a dwarven script. Uh, got prehistoric skull. Got a giant starfish, a starfish from the primordial ocean. That's an usually pristine specimen. Uh, got some quartz, got the earth crystal, can't remember what that was. Necoit, got good shards from Tiny Peak Meadow. Slate, I haven't really looked at those ones anyway. And yeah, pop back through, got another book. Uh, I know, there's one that's like right there. I don't understand these books. Ooh, use fertilizer, improve quality, reduce workload. Fruit trees take a whole season to grow, but they require very little maintenance. Keep the area directly around your new sapling clear, or else it may not grow properly. Crops will die as soon as the season ends, unless they grow in multiple seasons, eating corn. Some crops, such as kale and wheat, need to be harvested with life. We have experienced most, most of those. I swear there's another book. I can't want to read whatever that is, but. Oh, I give up. I give up, Gumpher. There's a floating book there. Nothing in there. Let's just check. Let's check, Clint. No. No one's got any uh, rubbish they want to give away. Oh, I need to go to that. Ooh. Hello, worms. Nope, stone. Great, great. Bloody stone. Hey, Palm. Uh, right, we, need to, we need to check out that traveling cart. Let's come down this way. Down this way. Tempted to give that clam to somebody if we see anyone nice. Don't know who's not nice, but. Uh, Marnie, do you want a clam? I'm not sure you are a clam person. What about an oyster? Oh, okay, not oysters. I get it. I get it. No oysters. Why would you like them? Yeah. Ooh, hello. Okay, definitely giving a dandelion away to somebody. Next person we see. That's not the shopkeeper. Go to back and give them gifts. No, I cannot. No, I don't want to eat the dandelion. Right, tulip, pumpkin, wild horseradish, corn, pink cake, cranberry sauce, crayfish. Ooh, that's kind of tempting, but I can't afford it. Err. Because that means we can fulfill one of the fishing um, things. At least I think we can fulfill one of the fishing things. Which means we can do it early, which is nice, but I don't have enough gold. I'd have to sell something. And I can't sell it because I'd have to do it overnight. Urgh, that's a bit annoying. Hmm. Nuts. Why can I not sell you stuff? That would be too useful, obviously. Um, ooh, Leia. Hello. Have a dandelion. No worries. What are you doing out here as well? Are you drawing? I think she's drawing the lake. Fair enough. Quite nice out here. Damn it. Kind of annoyed I can't buy that lobster crayfish thing. Okay, this fish apparently just does want to move. Is it a chub? Or something equally useless? No, it's more like bass. So yes, it was something equally useless. 
come on, something useful, something that we haven't had before. Anything? Anything? Maybe I should have gone to the ocean to do a bit of fishing. Or the river. I can't remember what fish we need. But we don't need green algae. That we do not need. And for that, Kado, you are going to be eating that. Eating it. My theory is if I make him eat the awful stuff he brings up, he might stop fishing him up. Sadly, I can't make him eat glasses. <coughs> Sorry, just had to sneeze. Alright, he ate that. Glasses. Alright, um, do do do. Where should I go? Ooh, another dandelion. Horseradish. No, I want to pick up that. Right, so let's get rid of the glasses. Right. I might stop by the tap house and give some people some gifts. Maybe if we can find some other stuff around here, there might be more gifts to give. Say that, we're probably not going to see any more gifts now, are we? No. Just no. Maybe a spray onion. Come on, spray onions. Oh no, spring onions either. Ooh, never horse ride it show. Oh yes, and there's lots of spring onions. Good, this is what we like to see. Alright, let's grab that. Inventory full. Um right, stone you can fudge off and you know what? Clay you can fudge off. Right, and spring onions. Inventory full. My god. Right, you know what? Eat the fish. Yes, eat the fish. There we go. Right. There we go. Three last Ooh, more spring onions. We're getting loads of spring onions today. Actually, I might save some of these for when we next go in the mine. It doesn't give me much energy, but I've got a stack of them. And it's, so they only take up one slot, which is nice. So I'll save the 13. I'm still going to try and stop by the. Uh, tap house if I can give away anything. Don't know if I can at this kind of time. Maybe I should just go back to the farm. Uh, no, we're going to go, we're, we're gonna go for the, via the tap house. We'll go via the tap house. Let's see who's the dirty stop outs on a Sunday night. He's having the old... Ooh, there's Abigail. Do you want a daffodil? Dandelion. You bought me a present? Thanks. No worries. Um... What you were doing out there? I don't know. Uh, where's the where's the tap house? Here you go. Just, uh, just in case, you know. Um, right, so we got Pam. You can have. Let's see, no, I'm gonna give Emily a clam because she might like shells. And Gus does not like spring onions, so let's go with. Right, I've got a nice, very gold wild horseradish. No. Okay, it's so just what? No vegetables for you? Mm -hmm. Pam, would you like a normal horseradish? No. Okay. No one likes the horseradishes. Clint. Mm -hmm. Spring onion? No. Okay. People do not like my gifts today. Well, in this bar. This is obviously an anti forage food bar. And for that, I'm going to raid George's bin. Damn it, why is there nothing in any of these bins? I swear it's been ages since I've had something from a bin. Right, let's head home. Um, I probably should have planted those cauliflowers tonight, but I don't think I have time. Uh, I've got some speed grow. I I might just throw some speed grow down on them. Uh, right, let's come here. Let's get rid of you two and you. Um, I might just do those ones for now. And get the water. Mm, actually, there's one too many. Or is it? I don't know. Actually, I can't remember if I put one there or not. Or can't see. Oh, that's some more cauliflowers planted. And they've got the speed growth, so they should be quicker, which would be nice. 
Um, can I put a speed grow on top of these? Or is that not allowed? No, can't put a speed grow on top of those. What about on top of. I can put on the beans. Probably should be using the speed grow here like this, but. Um, there you go. Right. Uh, I'm going to put those in there because they're going to be for mining. Right. Now let's head to bed. Hey, doggy. Yes. Right. Let's see what we get. Oh, 1,300 and another 200. See, now we're starting to make the money. For what, 500 from the cauliflower. 700 from the kale. That's not too bad. What's that? 710 for each. I can't remember how much they cost. Possibly about 60 or 70. It's not too bad a return. Um, yeah, so that's that. So that's a nice haul. Um, tomorrow, I'm not sure what we're doing. Because I think it's still really sunny. So it's going to be a marathon watering session. And then trying to find people some nice. Um, some nice gifts. I might go for a f have a f I have a fishing day or a mine day. I think I might do a mine day because I might have to get down five levels, but we'll see. Um, so thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye bye. <laughs>